Aloha. My name is Matthew Raguto and I'm a Chartered Retirement Planning Counselor and I've been guiding seniors locally here in Hawaii for over six years in choosing a Medicare plan. We serve the Hawaii people with a range of services designed to adapt and evolve wherever you are on your health and wealth journey. Choosing the right Medicare plan can help you be your best in retirement. Today, we want to help you understand your plan choices. If you have not yet activated your Part B portion of Medicare, please stop this video and go ahead and watch this video up here. It's going to show up um, in order to learn how to enroll in the Medicare program first. Also, due to the current stay-at-home orders here in Hawaii, we're going to have to deliver this information digitally. This also means that your enrollment and all of our presentations, instead of having us face to face there, it would have to be online, either on Zoom, WebEx, or on the phone. And lastly, if there's anyone else in your household, a spouse, or a family member that needs to learn about their health plan choices due to what's going on currently in the economy, please invite them to watch this as well. All right, let's get started. Let's learn about our Medicare choices. Now, Medicare is a program set up by the federal government to help cover medical costs when you retire. The annual enrollment period or annual election period takes place once per year during October 15th through December 7th. Now, during this time, we have a special enrollment period due to the current circumstances. So let's look at your Medicare options. Option one is choosing parts A of Medicare and B and have that portion B managed by the federal government. If you choose this route, you will also need to have a separate standalone part D drug plan. Number two, or option number two, is gonna be that same Medicare parts A and B plus adding a additional Medicare supplement plan. Medicare supplement plans are set up to cover the financial portion that original Medicare doesn't cover. Also in this option, you will need to have a Part D, again, separate drug plan. Option three is gonna be a Medicare Advantage plan or a Part C Medicare Advantage plan. What this plan will do is it combines all the benefits of both A and B and most times Part D to cover you like a all-in-one bundle plan. The benefits of having this plan, of course, is having all of your benefits managed under one roof, and they also include extra benefits. Things like gym memberships or dental and vision are included a lot of times in these plans. Now that you know the options with Medicare, here's a few questions to ask yourself before choosing the route that's best for you. Do you have any particular benefits that you are enjoying now on your current medical plan. What do you like about your current coverage? What would you do to make your coverage better? Right, before we do go look into those plans though, what I'm gonna need from you is the name of the current physicians you're seeing. So that's the primary care doctor you see, plus any other specialist, so I can make sure that they accept whatever Medicare plan we choose. Next thing is, I need a full list of your prescription medications because Medicare drug plans are all different and they all have different formularies. So let us do the research for you. But in order to do that research, we do need all of the medications you're taking as well as the dosing that you do. So if it's a 20 milligram dosage and you take that three times a day, please let us know that you're taking it three times a day so when we run our illustrations or run our analysis, we can find what that particular dosing program would cost you and which plan would save you the most money. Okay, so in order to get you the best plan quote that meets your needs, what I'm gonna need is your full name as it appears on your Medicare card, Medicare number, parts A and parts B effective date, and I'm gonna need your birthday.
Next, I'm going to need your residential and mailing address if they're different, names of all those physicians you see, and a complete drug list. And lastly, I'm going to need your budget. So just remember that for that budget, if you spend less per month, most likely you'll be spending more when you need care. I need to know if you know if you need any dental or vision or cancer insurance and if you have any more concerns about this health plan. All right, I hope all that made sense. If you do have any questions, you can go ahead and reply to this email or you can go ahead and watch some of the videos that we have for you specifically online. The next set of videos is going to be a long video explaining to you what your options are in a very compliant and presentation form, similar to how we would do it if we were meeting in person. Before I send you that video though, I would need you to sign what's called a scope of appointment. What that does is it says to you and confirms with the federal government that we are gonna be talking to you about Medicare plans. Let's go ahead and look at the option that's best for you.